Okay, Milan, you win. Here you go. All right, everybody. Hello, and welcome to the video. Today, I'm here with a 20 foreign coin from Hungary. I hope you are happy, Milan. I'm doing this especially for you. This here is a 20 foreign coin from Hungary. Uh, this is a 1995 version of the coin. And it is a standard circulation coin, which is still spendable today. So it is still legal tender. This coin here, the design that we're seeing in front of us, was used from 1992 up until 2011. But without further ado, let's go off and give it a few statistics. So the composition of this coin here is a nickel brass coin with a weight of 6.9 grams, a diameter of 26.3 millimeters, and a thickness of 1.9 millimeters. It is a round coin, as you can see, and as you also see later, it is in the medal alignment. But without further ado, let's hop straight into it and talk about the reverse of the coin here. So the reverse of the coin here is extremely simple. Where in the center here, we just have the denomination on a line, which says 20 on a line there. And underneath it, we have the currency, forint, and underneath that, we have the letters BP. Uh, I'm not too sure what BP means, and I'm not really going to say anything about it as I'm not too certain about what it actually means. And around it, we have some that we have some little dots that are dotted border leading up to the slightly raised edge. If we flip the coin now onto its side, we will be able to see that the coin has a reeded edge. If the camera likes to pick that up for once, no, it won't. The camera still doesn't like picking anything up, but there you go. It has a reeded edge, you can probably make that out. It has a reeded edge. If you flip it over, it is in the metal alignment. And as you can see here, we're now on to the obverse of the coin. So the obverse of the coin is a lot prettier than the reverse of the coin indeed. So let's begin with the lettering as par. I'm probably going to go off and pronounce everything terribly wrong. Uh, but essentially, the English for this is Republic of Hungary. So. Magyar Khoztar Sasag, I believe that's how you would say it. Um, but it actually just means Republic of Hungary in Latin. So this here is also featuring the date, as you can see on the bottom. There we go. It says 1995 there at the bottom. Right. Now the photo here is a very nice picture indeed. This here is the Hungarian flower, the binomial name is across the bottom of your screen, the Hungarian iris flower. It's a very beautiful design indeed. As you can see, each of the petals there have some actual detailing put to it, unlike some coins where they usually appear quite smooth. Now, something I have not mentioned yet is both sides of the coin actually have a different engraver. So the side of the coin we're looking at now, the obverse, was engraved by a guy, name across the bottom of your screen now, uh, named Istvan Bartos. And then if you flip it over to the reverse once again, there we go. This side of the coin here was engraved by a guy named Istvan Kosa, if I'm pronouncing all those names correctly. But yeah. So this coin here was engraved by two different people. Now, this coin here is still legal tender, but it does actually surprisingly have a decent value. So the actual face value of this coin, if you were to go off and exchange it, would be around about four pennies. So that's four pence. Um, but if you were to go off and sell it, you could possibly get around 20 pence for this coin. That is a massive markup from the four pence face value of the coin. So this here being worth around 20 pence means that it's not a very expensive or valuable coin, but still quite a nice coin to have as it's a European coin from a country that doesn't follow the European Union uh, Euro still, which is something I love seeing. Anyways, uh, this here is the Hungarian 24 nit coin worth around 20 pence or about 30 American cent. And yeah, that's about it really. I don't have any other Hungarian coins in my collection, so, um, sorry Milan, this will be the only one for a while. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, please do have a great time, 
and I shall talk to you guys all next time in the next video. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe and all that. And yeah, just hi everybody. Have a good evening.